time we installed the upstairs patio door for Bryson's earth bag bedroom. We prepare to paint the exterior. Before we start painting, Bryson moves the dirt away from the building. And then we start taping everything off. Windows, doors, bottle lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around and seal all the cracks up above with this foam. This marquee paint is supposed to be one of the best paints. It's got UV protection, and it's supposed to be one coat over the stucco, which is gonna be interesting to see if it really is. It was a lot of money, a little over $200, which is way more than what we normally pay for paint. We usually get the recycled paints and pay 10 bucks. We chose to do a, a different method of painting this time around. Typically in the past, we've used rollers, and it's taken us several days to, to work on it. We own an airless sprayer. Advantages to having the airless sprayer is, of course, the biggest one is time. Now let's try the other bit. I hadn't used this thing in years. So we had to get it in, get it cleaned up, take it apart, oil it. We got things all set up, flip the switch, nothing happened. Bryson takes his multimeter out, has everything all hooked up, and says it's the switch. So he went ahead, replaced the switch with a little wall socket oh, switch that you have at your house. Just shut it off. Drum roll, please. Oh yeah. When the boys were young, I was really involved in their problem solving. But Bryson no longer needs my help. He really enjoys working with anything electronic. I just back away and I just let him do it. I forgot how to use the sprayer. So I gave the neighbor a call, he gave me some quick instructions. We got it primed right. Okay, thank you. You think we're ready, Bry? I gotta get the water out of it now. It's a brown. Beautiful. All right, we're going up. It was my job to paint. The spray patterns and working with how to spray, Bryce and I worked together and we got that all figured out. Eliminating a lot of the overspray, conserving our paint. It was challenging to get up in those eaves, but after a while I got used to it. Painting in the little corners and the edges takes a lot of time. With an airless sprayer, got it right away. I just want to show you this light switch. This light switch proves my little homestead was apart. This is our signature move. We always put a light switch on electronics. We've done it on cars, motorcycles. Yeah, th uh, four wheelers. Four, uh, yeah, everything. Any, anything we can't get to turn on, it gets a light switch. And it's the Garenster's job now. Show off. Garen jumped in there for a short time and helped me out. He always works really fast, so it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. On my board. Pretty slick, huh? Because uh -huh. it's kind of a thinner paint, so it went right through that machine just perfectly. Hour to paint the entire building. So how do you I think it went, that. Dad? Okay. What's that? How do you think? How do you think it oh, went? Oh gosh, this is the only way to do this. Absolutely, it was great. There's probably about two inches on the bottom of the bucket, so it did make it. It painted the whole thing, including the eaves, and it's it's a nice coat. The majority of the painting is done, so now it's on to painting the trim, which is us girls' job. We're using this brownish purple color because it's what we have, and it's not going to cost anything. The guys will be working on the trim around the door and the trim around the patio. Yeah. Finishing up the trim, guys, the last of it? Last of the trim. We need to add the $225 paint to our accumulated total. This brings our total for the exterior of the building to $3,750. With the exterior complete, it's time to move inside and do the walls and floor. Yeah, so I'm really not sure about this whole lifetime warranty thing. Who's gonna be there to see if it actually worked? I mean, what, what are grandchildren gonna like peel it off and take it back? That would be an achievement though, because then you would, oh, you'd never live to see the paint peel. And, and what like, if you were like immortal? Then you'd get really mad if like, your lifetime, you're like, I am literally immortal and this paint has not lasted me, you know, 6,000 years. Exactly. Abby, a lifetime supply of paint though, if they replaced it. Do they say they replace it? I don't know. Please subscribe. For more information, you can click the website link below. Thanks for watching.